So guys, um, Islam and Christianity, we are not the same religion. You know, I'm saying this, I'm responding to this comment because I don't like the whole back and forth of me trying to prove my Bible is better than your Quran or, or vice versa. Now, I need you to understand this comment came from my uh, video where I said the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit are one. And these comments said, no, there's one God, I can prove this and that and the third. Now, he kept giving me different scriptures. But one thing I've, under I've understood is when you don't have the Holy Spirit inside of you who can give you revelation, it is very difficult for you to understand the Bible. The Bible has been written in parables, okay? And even Jesus himself said, wait for the one that's going to come and teach you. A lot of Muslims keep thinking that it's Muhammad. It's not Muhammad. It's the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost resides in us. That's the reason I can go Rabashi Kerebe Kataraba. That's the reason I can do that. You know, because so the spirit of god lives in me does that make sense another thing now a lot of people the difference between islam and christianity is what you think jesus christ is you just think jesus christ is just a prophet we believe that jesus christ is the son of god understand that the reason why jesus christ was even crucified is because he said he was the son of god and alluded to the fact that he was the son of god if you're going to say that you're the son of god it means that you are god which is what they the pharisees understood back in the time of jesus and that's the reason why they were trying to hold him to say that he was god so they could crucify him notice another thing as well the only person that can forgive sins right now we know is a god god is the only one that can forgive sins and for you to get into heaven notice how in the bible jesus christ was walking up to people and saying your sins are forgiven your sins are forgiven and they said who are you to forgive sin are you god because they understood as well that it's only God that can forgive sins. And we know that the only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ has got the key. If you are a forgiver of sin, that means you are wiping my slate clean. That means you have the power to get me into heaven because you can forgive sin. And if Jesus Christ is the Son of God, it makes him God. If you understand the order of things, understand that the reason they were trying to kill him is because they were asking him are you saying you're god who do you say you are because that was what these are the same arguments that we keep having today you know and and i, I don't really like to argue with people that are not in the faith when you don't even have the holy spirit in you because sometimes you read the word and you won't understand the word because the word is cryptid it's written in parables and it's a spirit that gives you understanding to understand the word of god so this is why even in your own quran it tells you when you don't understand something go to the christians go to the jews we don't even have evidence of the quran in our bible but you've got evidence of us in your quran so you need to think about that before you come and then say certain things